He is known for his contributions to the field of zoology and his work as a Regius Professor in Natural History at Aberdeen University. He is recognized for his election as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh and winning the Neil Prize. His name is V. C. Wynne Edwards. In the field of natural history, one name stands out, V. C. Wynne Edwards, a legendary figure whose contributions to the scientific community are truly remarkable. Born on July 4, 1906, in Leeds, England, Wynne Edwards was the son of Reverend Canon John Rosendale Wynne Edwards and Lillian Agnes Streetfield. His journey into the world of zoology began at rugby school and continued at Oxford University, where he studied and graduated with a degree in zoology. In 1929, Wynne Edwards embarked on an academic career, taking a position as a lecturer in zoology at McGill University in Canada. However, his work was interrupted by the outbreak of the Second World War, during which he served in the Royal Canadian Naval Reserve. After the war, he was appointed as the Regius Professor in Natural History at Aberdeen University, a position he held until his retirement in 1974. Throughout his career, Wynne Edwards garnered numerous accolades and recognition for his contributions to the field. In 1950, he was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, and in 1973-1975, he was awarded the Society's Neil Prize. In 1974, he was honored with the title of Commander of the Order of the British Empire, and Aberdeen University bestowed upon him an honorary doctorate. In 1970, V.C. Wynne Edwards achieved a significant milestone in his career when he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. Known for his remarkable contributions to ecology, Wynne Edwards' work focused on studying the behavior of birds and their ecological habitats. During his early research, Wynne Edwards explored the social and rhythmic behaviors exhibited by birds. His findings shed light on the existence of distinct avian faunas in different zones of the North Atlantic, including inshore, offshore, and pelagic areas. This groundbreaking discovery later proved to be applicable to all oceans, establishing a standard categorization for future researchers. However, Wynne Edwards' most significant and influential work revolved around population dynamics and its relationship to social behavior. He proposed a hypothesis that suggested animals maintain an optimal population density through homeostatic control, with sociality playing a primary and universal role in this process. To further investigate this hypothesis, Wynne Edwards led two dedicated research teams. In addition to his work on population dynamics, Wynne Edwards also made notable contributions to the study of Arctic animals and plants. His research and published papers provided valuable insights into the unique ecosystems of the Arctic region. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.